गणपति हवामहे कवि कवीनामुपमश्रवस्तम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मणस्पतान शृण्वन्नोतिदसाधन श्री महागणाधिपत नम गुरुर्ब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेशर गुरसाक्षात्म ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ डर फ्रेंड्स वी हेव टू कमें दिस फिफ्त श्लोक इन दिस क्लास इन द लास्ट क्लास वी कंप्लीटेड द भाष्यम ईवन द लास्ट लाइन ऑफ दट लास्ट श्लोक तत पदम तत्परी दट श्लोक वी कंप्लीटेड एंड बिफोर वी स्टार्ट ए स्मा क्लारीफिकेशन अबउट ए वर्ड अबउट ग्रामर विच वी ई वॉज telling in a doubtful way that is adhasya moolanyanusantata ni under that line second shloka second shloka adhasya moolanyanusantata ni so there commentary that is shankaracharya's bhashyam adho manushyadibhya yavat sthavaram yavat sthavaram urdhvam cha yavat brahma vishva vishva srujah dhama that vishva srujah that word the pratipadika word i was doubtful whether it is um, vishvasrut or vishvasruj hmm? so vishvam srujati iti vishvasruj vishvam srujati pratipadika word is vishvasruj prathama ekavachanam becomes vishvasruk like we use the word you know, sruk and sruva in the yagyam there is what is called sruk sruk means that which creates that which is creating or that which is producing that is what is called sruk so this is vishvasruk he is the producer he is the creator of this vishva so for that vishvasruk vishvasrujav vishvasrujah so vishvasruj shabda that is the pratipadika prathama ekavachanam is vishvasruk vishvasrujav vishvasrujah it is something like bhishak bhishajav bhishajah so it's like that so now we will start this fifth shloka the last shloka tameva chadyam purusham prapadye yatah pravrutti prasrta purani we read that let us read the fifth shloka nirmana moha jita sanga dosha nirmana moha jita sanga dosha adhyatma nitya vinivrutta kama adhyatma nitya vinivrutta kama dvanvair vimukta sukha dukha sanyai hi dvanvair vimukta sukha sanyai सुख दुख संयि गच्छमूढ़ पदमव्यय तत् सो इन द लास्ट अर्लियर श्लोक कृष्ण वेयिंग सो अश्वत्थमेन सुविरूढ़मूल हेविंग डिस्ट्रॉयड दिस अश्वत्थ ट्री देन यू हेव टू गे यू हेव टू नो दट पदम परमागित दट पदम दट थिंग इज नोन इट हेज टू बी ज्ञातव्य परमागितव्य ज्ञातव्य सो दट इज वाट इस एंड इन दिस श्लोक what type of people do attain this is there an avatarika for this prapadye um, yeah one, one small line is the avatarika katham bhutah katham bhutah tat padam gachanti ityuchyate tat padam gachanti ityuchyate katham bhutah means what type of people evam bhutah this type katham bhutah what type katham bhutah tat padam gachanti what what type of people can attain that particular place it is not a place it is dhama it is that level of awareness it is not a place to be attained it is a level to be understood so that is what we have to always understand when whenever that word gachati gamanam etc etc is there so here what type of people do attain that to do know that that is nirmana moha jita sanga dosha this type of people so here in this uh, this particular shloka what are all the characteristics which are described here they are the same as gnani lakshanani which we saw in 13th chapter sthita pragna lakshanani which we saw in second chapter then again uh, say 12th chapter this bhakti yoga so the, all these lakshanani are one and the same gunatita gunatita lakshanani same lakshanani so all these things are common so whatever is the lakshanam of a, a, a realized person that becomes the sadhanam that becomes the sadhanam for a seeker tanye va sadhanani pare sadhaka so that is what we saw so here let us see the words nirmana moha those who are devoid of this mana and moha manam we know mana means abhimana abhi you have already added a prefix <laughs> what is abhimana 
Abhi you said Abhi plus Mana. Abhi is only a prefix. Then Mana, what is this Ma? Huh? Yeah, Ma. Ma, the meaning, root meaning of Ma is to measure. So I have read 100 books. I have got so much of wealth. You have this much of wealth. I am so, so brilliant. You are only this much brilliant. So this is a measuring. So it is a question of pride. It is a question of measuring everything and then assessing one's own greatness. Say asserting one's own greatness. So that is what is that manam, that is pride. Pride, the, the root meaning also is beautiful. That is ma is measure. Then nirmana, moha. Moha of course we know, that is delusion. Lack of uh, viveka, that is lack of viveka. So here nirmana moha means, so those who are devoid of a mana and moha, that means those who have gone beyond the stage of that I, that ego, and also those who have gone beyond the state of delusion. So that is nirmana moha, nirgataha. Nirgata mana, mana moha uh, ebhya te nirmana moha. So that is how we can uh, define that uh, bahurihi samasa. Then jita sangha dosha. This sangha, sangha, you know, sangha is attachment, raga, sangha, sangha itself is a dosha, dosha means a defect, sangha dosha means this defect called attachment, jita sangha dosha means those who have conquered this defect called sangam, so this is again a, what is this uh, bahurihi samasa, those who have, who have conquered this defect called sangam, then adhyatma nityaha, then Adhi plus Atma we know that is in one's own self, about one's own self or in one's own self. Nityaha, they are, they are always stationed, they are always stationed in their own selves, that is Swasminstaha, Swasthaha. So all these people are Swasthaha. So they are always focused on the inner self, so that is the, mean, that is the meaning. Then Vinivrutta Kamaha, this Kamaha means desires, Nivruttaha. That means they have all receded, they have all withdrawn. Not withdrawn because of old age or anything. <laughs> it is withdrawn because of Viveka. <laughs> so Shuka, Shuka is an example. Shuka is an example. He is a 16 year old boy. Uh, say who has who has transcended the all these kamas? And he was one he was one who was actually going naked. And then Sage Vyasa, who was his father, he in fact he he was not above these kamas. So that is what we see in Mahabhagavata, a very wonderful story. Uh, so Vinivrutta Kamaha, so these are the people who are, who have gone beyond Kamas not due to old age, but because due to Viveka. <laughs> because of Viveka, they have withdrawn from the all types of desires, whether it is bodily desire or whether it is material desires, whatever they are. So Vinivrutta, V plus Nivrutta, V means Visheshata, totally, Visheshata, totally, completely. Then, Dvandvaihi Vimuktaha. Vimukta means those who are released. Mukta. Mukta means released. Vimuktaha, Visheshana Muktaha. But from what? Dvandvaihi. From, from Dvandvaihi. From all types of dualities. Sukha, Dukha, etc. Raga, Dvesha, all these things. There are certain things which, uh, which, are, which pertain to the body. There are certain things which pertain to the mind. So, this man, because he has developed that Titiksha, that ability to see them as a drushya, this titiksha is the ability to look at all these things as a drushya. So this is something relating to the body, there are certain things relating to the mind. So this man, he distances himself from the mind's mind and also looks at the mind as an object. So that is how he is a dvandvaihi vimuktaha. So dvandvaihi vimuktaha. Then sukha dukha, dukha sangnehi dvandvaihi. So this sukha dukha sangnaihi is an adjective for dvandvaihi. Dvandva means a duality. What type of duality? Which are of the nature of sukha and dukha. Sukha dukha sangnaihi. Sangna means name. Sangna actually means a name. Sangna, there it is a designation. It is a name. Sukha dukha sangnaihi means which are known as. Dvandvas which are known as sukha dukha. Sukha dukha sangnaihi. Dvandvas which are called sukha dukha etc. Sukha Dukha Sangnaihi. So those people, Gachanti Amudhaha. Gachanti Amudhaha means Gachanti Amudhaha. Amudhaha means those who don't have Moha. Moha, this Mohadhatu only produces the Mudha also. Moha is the delusion. Mudha is a person who is under delusion. 
Murdha is different from Murkha. Murkha is a simple dull-witted fellow. A Murdha may be a very brilliant fellow, but a perverted fellow. So Murdha is different. Murdha is one who is under delusion, one who is having that Moha is a Murdha. Murkha is something different. Murkha is a stupid fellow, a dull fellow. So Gachanti Amurdha. Amurdha means those who are devoid of any type of delusion. So they, those people, Gachanti means attain, they do attain. Tat Padam Avyayam. Avyayam Padam Tat. Means that particular Padam, that particular status, that particular level of awareness which is Avyaya. That is from where there is no fall, there is no decline, there is no question of coming back. So that is that Avyaya Pada, Avyaya Shabda. So the, all these things are, these are all Jnani Lakshanani. That is all the character, these are all the characters, characteristics of a Jnani whom we saw in earlier chapters. So is the shloka clear? Yes. Let us see the Bhashyam. Nirmana Mohaha Nirmana Mohaha Manasya Mohasya Manamohau Manasya Mohasya Manamohau Tau Nirgatau Yebhyaha Tau Nirgatau Yebhyaha Te Nirmana Mohaha Te Nirmana Mohaha Mana Moha Varjitaha Mana Moha Varjitaha So Shankaracharya sometimes uh, we know that he explains even the Bahurihi Samasas. That is Manasya Mohasya Mana Mohau. Then these two things, Tau means these two things, Nirgatau Yebhyaha, those from whom these things have departed, those from whom this Mana and Moha have gone away. So they are called Nirmana Mohaha, Nirgata, Nirgatau Mana Moha Moha Yebhyaha. So they are the Nirmana Mohaha. Then Mana Moha Varjitaha, Varjana means devoid, devoid of this Mana and Moha. Then similarly, Jita Sangha Doshaha. Let us read Jita Sangha Doshaha. Sangha Yeva Doshaha, Sangha Doshaha. Sangha Yeva Doshaha, Sangha Doshaha. Jitaha Sangha Dosho Yehi. Jitaha Sangha Dosho Yehi. Te Jita Sangha Doshaha. Te Jita Sangha Doshaha. Adhyatma Nityaha. Adhyatma Nityaha. Paramatma Swarupalo Chanaditya Tatparaha. Nityaha Tatparaha. Paramatma Surupalo Chanityaha Tatparaha Vinivrutta Kamaha Vinivrutta Kamaha Visheshataha Nirlepena Nivruttaha Kamaha Visheshataha Nirlepena Nivruttaha Kamaha Yesham Te Vinivrutta Kamaha Yesham Te Vinivrutta Kamaha Yatayaha Sanyasinaha Yatayaha Sanyasinaha Okay, we'll stop here. So now we'll come to Jita Sangha Doshaha. Sangha itself is Dosha. Sangha means attachment, itself is a Dosha. That Sangha Dosha, Jitaha Sangha Dosha Yehi. Those by whom this Sangha Dosha, this defect called attachment, has been defeated, has been has been conquered. Uh, so that they are called the Jita Sangha Dosha. Jita Sangha Dosha. Then Adhyatma Nityaha. What is Adhyatma? Is the same as Paramatma. Adhyatma is the same as the supreme thing. Paramatma Swarupa Alochana Nityaha Tat Paraha. Tat Paraha means Para, that is supreme, that is my supreme goal, nothing else is my goal. So that is called Tatparata. Tatparata is that having uh, total attachment to a particular attachment in the sense, not Sangha Dosha. <laughs> Parata means that is the supreme. That is the supreme. You are, uh, you have considered a particular path as the most supreme path and then you are following that. So that is Tatparata. So, who, what is this Tatparata here? Paramatma Swarupa, the real nature of that Paramatma, that Supreme Atman, Alochana Nityaha. So, they always focused on knowing or understanding or remaining in that state of awareness uh, of Paramatma. So, Paramatman awareness. Then, Vinivrutta Kamaha, that is Visheshena, Nirlepena. Nirlepena means Lepanam Vino. Lepanam means something which is pasted. Without any trace, without any trace, all those kamas, all the desires have disappeared. Vinivrutta, nirlepena, nivrutta kama. Without any trace, they have they have gone. Without any trace, let us say, nirlepena. We can say without any trace. Nivrutta kama, nirgata kama, yesham. From whom these these desires have totally vanished without a trace. So that is the meaning. Te vinivrutta kamaha, who are the yatayaha, sannyasinaha, so such people who are the people who are spoken of. Then dvandvaihi, priya priyadibhihi vimuktaha, 
ಹೇಟೆಡ್ ತೈಹಿ ವಿಮುಕ್ತಾ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಫ್ರೀಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ನೈದರ್ ಹಿ ನೈದರ್ ರಿಜಾಯ್ಸಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಗುಡ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ನೈದರ್ ಹೇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬೈ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಬಾದರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯೂ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಬಾದರ್ ದ್ವಂದ್ವೈ ಹಿ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ಸಂಗ್ನೈ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ಸಂಗ್ನೈ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸುಖ ಅಂಡ್ ದುಃಖ ಬೈ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಪರಿತ್ಯಕ್ತ ಹಿ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹವ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ದ್ವಂದ್ವಾಸ್ ಹವ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ಮನ್ ದೆನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಗಚ್ಛಂತಿ ಅಮೂಢ ಈಸ್ ಮೋಹ ವರ್ಜಿತ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೋಹ ಆರ್ ಡೆಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಟ್ ಡು ದೇ ಅಟೈನ್ ಪದಂ ಅವ್ಯಯಂ ದಟ್ ಅವ್ಯಯಂ ಪದಂ ದಟ್ ಅನ್ಡಿಮಿನಿಶಿಂಗ್ ಪದಂ ಯಥೋಕ್ತಂ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯಥೋಕ್ತಂ ಪದಂ ದೇ ಅಟೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಡು ನೋ ದೆನ್ ತದ್ ತದೇವ ತದೇವ ಪದಂ ಪುನರ್ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ತದೇವ ಪದಂ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪದಂ ಆರ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪುನಃ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಎಲಾಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ಲಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಶೇಷ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ರೀಡ್ ದಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ನ ತದ್ ಭಾಸಯತೆ ಸೂರ್ಯೋ ನ ಶಶಾಂಕೋ ನ ಪಾವಕ ಯದ್ಗತ್ವಾನ ನಿವರ್ತಂತೆ ತದ್ ಧಾಮ ಪರಮ ಮಮ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರಿಕಾಲ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕಠೋಪನಿಷತ್ ನ ತತ್ರ ಸೂರ್ಯೋ ಭಾತಿ ರಚಂದ್ರ ತಾರಕಂ ನೇಮ ವಿದ್ಯುತೋ ಭಾಂತಿ ಕುತೋಯಮಗ್ನಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರೆಡ್ it is almost similar to that because geeta has several shlokas which uh, almost like a retake of uh, not several shlokas some shlokas which are retake of kathopanishad because kathopanishad is supposed to be so ancient kathopanishad it is there um, say not only in the upanishad portion but also in the original samhita portion also so that is why uh, samhita portion in a slightly different manner so that is why that is supposed to be one of the most ancient upanishads so here ನ ತದ್ ವಿ ರೆಡ್ ದ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನ ತದ್ ಭಾಸಯತೆ ಸೂರ್ಯ ತತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ತತ್ ಪದಂ ಆರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸೀ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯದ್ ಗತ್ವಾನ ನಿವರ್ತಂತೆ ತದ್ ಧಾಮ ಪರಮ ಮಮ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸೀ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯದ್ ಗತ್ವ ಯತ್ ಧಾಮ ಗತ್ವ ಯತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಧಾಮ ಧಾಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಬೋರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಟೆಂಟೆಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ that place having gone uh, having gone where having gone where na nivartante means people do not come back tat dhama that place is mine so that is the meaning of literal meaning of this second slow second line yad gatva na nivartante that place by reaching which that place by reaching which people do not return so that is the meaning yad gatva na nivartante the place by reaching which people do not return tat dhama that particular place tat dhama paramam paramam is supreme that supreme place is mine so that is the pl- that is the literal meaning we will come to the actual meaning later then we come to the first line tat dhama na tat bhasayate surya na tat tat refers to again the same place tat dhama dhama na tat refers to again that dhama that place that abode tentatively you call it dhama ತದ್ ಧಾಮ ನ ತದ್ ಭಾಸಯತೆ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸೂರ್ಯ ನ ಭಾಸಯತೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಥಿ
Shashan, the moon is called Shashanka. Moon has several names, of course. Shashanka means Shasha, you know, the rabbit. Shasha is the rabbit. Anka means the sign. This is the, the, the rabbit sign is there in him. So when you look at this, uh, when you look at the moon, you see something which is a dark portion which looks like a rabbit. So that rabbit Shashanka, one who is having that sort of Anka. Anka means actually um, uh, something like a, uh, Anka literally, uh, one meaning of Anka is also a blemish. Shashanka means he is having some sort of blemish, otherwise he is fully white. That small, uh, that Anka, that small patch, let us say, that Anka is a patch, let us say. Shashanka, he is having that Shasha or rabbit as the patch on him. There is a patch on him, something like a tattoo which our people uh, have nowadays. So, Shashanka, that tattooed man who is having that Shasha as a tattoo. Na Pavakaha, and not, not even the fire. Fire again gives light, isn't it? Fire gives both heat and light. So, this whether it is a Surya or a Chandra or whether it is fire, they are not going to illumine this place. So, what does it mean? So, in fact, we are lucky that we are having so many Bhashyams written by several commentators. Not only Shankaracharya, we have got Nelakantha Vyakya, Madhusudana Vyakya and some other things. Here, for this shloka, Nelakantha Acharya gives a very beautiful explanation. For this Surya, Natad Bhasayate Surya, he gives a beautiful explanation. Surya, we know, he is the Chakshur Anugrahaka Devata. That is, we know that there are several Indriyas. For all these Indriyas, we, we treat one particular deity as a, a presiding deity. So, for the eye, the presiding deity is Surya. Similarly, for hand, there is somebody. For nose, there is somebody. There is For ear, there is somebody else. So, like that, there are presiding deities. So, Natad Bhasayate Surya means the eye is not going to reach it. Natad Bhasayate Suryam is the I and when we refer to one Indriya, you are also referring to all other Indriyas. So that means, this is something which is not Indriya Grahyam. Natad Bhasayate Surya means, it is not something which is Indriya Grahyam, it is not something which can be known by the Indriyas. You follow that? It is not something which is, which can be known by the Indriyas. Then, Na Shashankaha. This Shashanka, this moon, what does he influence? Moon influences the mind. Moon is supposed to be the person who influences the mind. That is why old Shakespeare also said, the poet, the philosopher and the lunatic, the lunatic lover and the philosopher are at the same level, he said. <laughs> so, so like that, the, the moon affects a lunatic also. That is lunatic, luna itself is moon. So, this Shashanka is somebody, he is the presiding deity for the mind. So, that means it is not monograhyam. It is neither Indriya Grahyam nor can be known by the mind. It cannot be known by the senses nor by the mind. Then na Pavakaha. Pavakaha Agni. Agni is the presiding deity for walk, the voice, the speech, the organ of speech. That is the, we, are, we have earlier, we talked about the sense organ. Now we are talking about the organ of action, the motor organs. That is walk. Walk means uh, the presiding deity, this Agni, is the, supposed to be the presiding deity because Upanishad, another Upanishad says, Agni Vag Bhutva Mukham Pravishetu. Agni Vag Bhutva Mukham Pravishetu. Agni became the walk and in the form of walk, he has entered the mouth. So that is what the Upanishad says. So that is why whatever you speak, it is something like a fire. You speak, you speak some gently. The other man is happy, you speak harshly, the other man burns within himself. So, that is why it is Agni. So, walk is compared to the Agni. So, Na Pavakaha means, it refers to all the, the motor organs. Karmendriya, what is this, Gyanendriya and also the mind. So, which means, which is something which is beyond this Stula, Sukshma, Karana, Prapancha. So, this, uh, that Tat Padam is something which is beyond this Sthula Sukshma Karana Prapancha. So, that is how this Nilakantha explains. So, Yad Gatva Nadivartante Tad Dhamma. Then, what is this Dhamma? When he says, that is my place, then earlier also we have come across Tad Dhamma, eighth, I think eighth chapter or so, Tad Dhamma, there we refer to the story of Raho Shiraha, that is the head of Rahu, that Puranic story where uh, say the gods are sitting in one line and all the demons are sitting in one line this Rahu stealthily goes and sits in the line of the gods 
then Lord Vishnu detects it and de decapitates him. Eh? Then his head alone survives because he had already swallowed some uh, say uh, nectar. So the head is separate portion and the uh, say the trunk again that also survives as a separate thing. So the head is called Rahu. So Rahu is not different from the head. So which Rahu Shiraha means the Rahu is not different from the head. So similarly Taddhama Mama that is my place. I am not different from that. So that is that Shuddha Chaitanya Swarupa. It means Taddhama Paramama means that is the Chinmatra. It is not something like a Vrutti Rupa Jnana. Vrutti Rupa Jnana we know. Vrutti Rupa Jnana is something which occurs in the mind, which occurs in the Antahkarana. But here it is the Jnana Swarupa. So that is why Tad Dhamma Paramam, that Supreme Dhamma, Paramam distinguishes it from the ordinary Vrutti Rupa Jnana. So that is what the explanation given by Nilakantha in a beautiful way. So Madhusudana also has written fairly well, but much more is written by uh, Nilakantha. So let us see the Bhashya. Is the shloka clear? Okay. Then Tadeva uh, Vishishyate. Okay. Neti. Tad dhāma iti vyavahitena dhāmna sambandhaha. So, Shankaracharya is explaining, na tat bhāsayate. So, that word tat, na tat, that tat is connected to dhāma which is far away. So, that is what it means. Tat dhāma iti vyavahitena dhāmna sambandha. Vyavahitena means which is at a distance. Vyavahita, there is a vyava, say there is something which is in between. So that is why it is called Vyavahitam. So Vyavahitena, Dhamna, that is the far off word. Dhamna Sambandhaha. So this Vyavahitena, usually you get this, even earlier places also you got it. Then Dhamma Tejo Rupam Padam. Dhamma Tejo Rupam Padam. So Dhamma actually means Tejo Rupam Padam. That brilliance, that place which is characterized by brilliance. Brightness. And brightness by the word light or brightness, what do we mean? That is Chaitanyam, Shuddha Chaitanyam, Intelligence, Consciousness, so that is what we mean. Chaitanyam is always referred, Chaitanya or Consciousness is always referred to as light. So, Tad Dhamma, mm, Tejo Rupam Padam, Na Bhasayate, na bhasayate. Suryaha Adityaha, Suryaha Adityaha, Sarvava Bhasana Shakti Matvepi Sati, Sarvava, Sarvava Bhasana, Sarvava. Sarvava Bhasana Shakti Matvepi Sati. Okay. So, though this gentleman is capable of illumining all other things, he is not capable of illumining this thing. So, that means our Indriyas, our Indriyas, though they are capable of illumining all other things, they are not capable of illumining this, they are not capable of knowing or objectifying this Brahman. So, that is it. So, Sarvava Bhasana Shakti Matvepi, though that Shakti Matvam is there, Shakti Matve. Sati Api, Shakti Matve Sati Api, that is, though that Shakti Matvam exists in him, even then, he, he cannot illumine this thing. Tatha na Shashankaha Chandraha, Tatha na Shashankaha Chandraha, na Pavakaha na Agnirapi. Na Pavakaha na Agnirapi. So, likewise, na Shashankaha Chandraha, nor can the sun, na Pavakaha na Agnirapi. So, this three things, this um, Surya, Shashanka and Pavaka denoting this Indriya, mind and also this um, um, motor organs, it is something which was so well known probably, it is a formula, something like a formula, the moment you say Surya, it, it refers to Indriyas, the moment you say Chandra, it refers to the mind. So, so probably for that reason, Shankaracharya has not explained, but later, by much later times, Nela Kantajarya, probably he wants to remind us, so he has explained all that. Because, you see, whatever is very, very well known to somebody, unless it is explained, it is not known to somebody else. So, at a later time, so that is the reason. So, Nagnirapi, Yad Dhamma Vaishnavam Padam, Yad Dhamma Vaishnavam Padam, Gatva Prapya, Gatva Prapya, Na Nivartante, Na Nivartante, Yacha Surya Dihi Na Bhashayate, Bhasayate Yacha Surya Dihi Na Bhasayate, Tad Dhamma Padam Paramam Mama Vishnoho. Okay. Yat Dhamma. That place which, that place which, what is that place? Vaishnavam Padam. That, 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 that sthiti, that sthiti means that level 
called vaishnava vaishnava means that is all pervasive that is all that supreme uh, say infinity in other words infinity uh, say you have three words for that that is existence consciousness infinity that vaishnava refers to that infinity that infinity infinity that that gatva means having realized that not having gone there but having realized that then nani vartante people do not return people do not return means you will again not come back to into your moha you will not again come back into that tadatmya level you will not again identify with a body mind complex so that is that place so that is what is the meaning of nani vartante then yachya suryadihi na bhasayate suryadihi surya chandra and also the agni they do not illumine that place because that is the place that is the source of all illumination that is the source of all knowledge then tat dhama paramam para paramam paramam is supreme mama vishnu of me that is that place that that is that is my self that is my real self so that is the meaning then yad gatvan anivartante ityuktam yad gatvan anivartante ityuktam nanu sarvahi gatihi agatya agatyanta nanu sarvahi gatihi agatyanta sanyoga viprayoganta iti hi prasiddham ृत्तिरिंग so it has been told like that it has been declared like that but then sarvahi gatihi agatyanta when you go to a place you suddenly come back sarvahi gatihi all types of movement agatyanta it again will result in agati gati and agati gati means going and agati is returning so sarva whatever gati is there it results again in return only then samyoga viprayogantah so samyoga samyoga means a union viprayoga means separation sanyoga ha viprayoga anta so you come across somebody today then tomorrow that relationship may not be there so there is no such thing as a lifelong relationship of course we do have lifelong relationships in the form of marriage etc but sometimes of course sometimes there can be some physical separation sometimes for no fault of theirs there can be separation so somebody can die so that can be one type of separation samyogah viprayogantah which lead to or rather which can end in not necessarily lead to which can end in viprayoga so samyoga viprayogantah in fact it is there in ramayana also because when rama and sita get separated this word is used samyoga viprayogantah itihi prasiddham it is so well known then katham uchyate tad dhama tad dhama gatanam nasini how can you say tad dhama gatanam that is for those who have reached that place or for those who have attained that place there is no nivrutti how do you say that it is shrunu tatra karanam you listen to tell me just listen to this so this is the avatarika let us read the shloka mama ivam sho jeeva loke mama ivam sho jeeva loke jeeva bhuta sanatana ha jeeva bhuta sanatana ha mana shrashtani indriyani सनातन सो यू सी दर्ड्स मम एव मीन आफ मी ओनली अंशः अंशः मीन्स ए पार्ट ए स्मॉल पार्ट मम इव अंशः जीवलोके इन दिस वर्ल्ड ऑफ ह्यूमन्स नॉट नॉट ह्यूमन्स ओनली इन दिस वर्ल्ड ऑफ बीइंग्स वी शुड नॉट फॉरगेट एंड आल्सो जीवलोके इन दिस वर्ल्ड ऑफ ऑल बीइंग्स जीवभूतः हैविंग बिकम ए जीव हैविंग बिकम ए जीव जीवभूतः हैविंग बिकम ए जीव हैविंग बिकम ए कर्ता भोक्ता विद दैट फ्रेम ऑफ माइंड जीवभूतः then again at the same time this fellow is sanatanah jeeva bhuta sanatanah because this jeeva again is something which is relating to consciousness only so that consciousness again is something which is eternal which is everlasting 
So Jeeva Bhutaha Sanatanaha. This fellow is a Jeeva, but at the same time it, he is everlasting. He means ant, right from starting from an ant and an ami amoeba or something like a, um, as a bacteria. So Jeeva Bhuta Sanatanaha. Then Manas Shastani Indriyani. So this Indriyani, we know that Indriyani are five. Five Indriyas are there. Manas Shastani. If you include mind, it becomes a six. Count, if you count mind also, it becomes six. So this is a way of saying, Manashashtani Indriyani does not mean that there are six Indriyas. There is a small debate about whether there are five Indriyas or whether mind also can be called Indriyas. Uh, that, 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 that discussion you have seen in Vedanta Parivasha. Vedanta Parivasha of Dharmaraja Advari, if you take that. So that Manashashtani Indriyani, that word is debated there. <laughs> so whether it is whether you uh, whether you call mind as an indriya or whether only five indriyas are there and the mind is something slightly uh, say their coordinator so that is the point there so there the explanation is manashastani should be explained or should be understood as suppose there is a yajna in that yajna there are four people Rukvi, rutviks so uh, along with the yajamani they all eat that uh, after the yajna is over that ida or yajna prasadam they, they eat that thing so there is a saying yajamana panchamaha idam bhakshayanti yajamana panchamaha means if you count yajamani also they all become five counting this yajamani all five count including yajamani yeah let us say this way including yajamani all five are eating that ida so that is the meaning yajamana panchamaha so, like that, Manashashtani Indriyani means including mind, they, ca they count six. So, that, that is how we have to take it. Including mind, they count six. Because Indriyani are five, Manas is separate. So, in fact, that is how, um, say, Madhusudana Vyakya also writes, Manaha iti, Manaha Shastam Yesham Tani, Shrotra Tvak Chakshu Rasana Ghrana Khyani Pancha Indriyani. So, that is what writes. So this Shrotra, Tvak, Chakshu, Rasana, Ghrana, these are the five Indriyas. And then Manaha, Shastam, Yesham, the mind when you include it, they become six. So when you count mind along with them, they become, they can be called Manas Shastani. So it is a usage. So that is how we have to understand it. Manas Shastani, Indriyani, Prakrutisthani, Karshati. So who is this Prakrutisthani, Indriyani? So all these Indriyas are there in that Prakriti. We know that in that Prakriti, Prakriti means that Sattva Rajas Samoguna. Sattva Rajas Samoguna means you are having all these Tanmatras, etc, etc. And then this from those Tanmatras, this thing is, uh, all these Indriyas are born. And the collective Tanmatras, the mind is evolved, mind has evolved. Uh, so that is how these things have evolved from the Prakriti only. So Prakriti Sthani, Karshati. Karshati means pulls. Karshaka. Well, what is the meaning of Karshaka? Karshaka means a farmer who furrows the land. Karshaka, he takes a furrow and then it uh, bulls, they, they keep dragging it and then Karshaka, you know the word Karshaka. You know, you have it in Telugu also. Karshaka means a follower, a farmer. So Karshati. So that means he pulls. Krishna, the word Krishna also is from that. Karshati iti Krishna. So, Bhakta Jananam, Papan, Karshati, he takes away the, uh, the, all these sins, in different types it is interpreted anyway. <laughs> so, Akarshati, Akarshanam, you know the word Akarshana, attraction, so probably that word attract, attract, so this is something similar, Karshati, Akarshati. So, this thing, Prakurtisthani Indriyani Karshati, so this Jiva, he pulls, he takes, he takes along with him, Prakurtisthani Indriyani, this Mama Ivamsaha Jiva Loke Jiva Bhutaha Sanatanaha Karshati. So this whole first line is the subject. Subject means that is the Karta. But who is that? Mama Ivamsaha, that my uh, say Amsha which is supposed to be that small uh, little uh, say uh, sparkling let us say. Small little sparkling. There is an Upanishadic line which says Yatha uh, Vispulingaha. You see, you, see, you see, look, uh, take the case of a great fire, a forest fire or something like that. From where all these sparks will be just going around. So these jivas are supposed to be like all these uh, sparklings which are emanating from that uh, Hiranyagarbha Brahma. Hiranyagarbha Brahma is a long chunk of Chaitanya in which that I notion has developed. Isn't it? 
so the pure chaitanya there is no notion of i so from that pure chaitanya in that pure chaitanya because of this maya there is a hiranyagarbha a large chunk of chaitanya uh, calls itself i or uh, it develops that notion of i so from that all this like vispulinga hayatha agneha vispulinga where where your vispulinga is all various sparklings they sparkle and come out so similarly all jivas have come out it is say so that is something like an amsha but that amsha also is characterized by chaitanya amsha is not something which is uh, not different from that so uh, this mamaiva amsha jiva bhuta jiva bhuta means which becomes a jiva that is which has become a karta which has become a bhokta and why while becoming that karta and bhokta it is dragging along with them along with it all these indriyas which are there in the karsha is the prakruti so you are going for a travel when you are going for a travel you pack your bag and baggage all types of all things your cell phone your cell phone charger your money card and card and all these things and then plus clothes etc put them and then you go so like that so manasrastani indriyani prakruti sthani all these things they drag it drags along it pulls along and then takes along with it of course this is continuing with the next shloka also when the when the when this jiva takes takes up the sharira shariram yada vapunoti gruhitvaitani sanyati like uh, the wind takes away like the wind uh, takes away the uh, uh, say this fragrance wind takes away the fragrance from out of the bud not bud from a flower so from the bulb of a flower you take a flower there are some petals and then um, in between there is a big bud so that bud of the flower is called ashaya so that from that ashaya the smell of course is there in that not in the not in the petals or anything so smell is there so that smell is carried away by the air so like that this jeeva also takes along with him all these indriyani so that is it manasrashtani indriyani so prakruti sthani prakruti sthani means those which are there in prakruti of course there is another commentator uh, again nilakantha is it nilakantha or yeah not nilakantha madhusudana saraswati prakruti sthani he says pratu prakrutau agnyane sukshma rupena sthitani so you see there are two types of you, you can visualize this in two ways that is when the very first formation of jiva is taking place so in the from this prakruti he is taking he is dragging along with him all these uh, things that is you can take and or after the laya there is a punarjanma isn't it till that time where is this subtle body this subtle body is in prakruti only isn't it subtle body is in a bija roopa in that bija in that bija roopa it is there in that maya and from that bija roopa he take when he takes up another birth then the same that that old baggage which is there kept in that locker it comes so it that prakruti is something like a locker so from where he draws that thing and then it comes out so takes up another body depending on or de- de- uh, i mean depending on his vasanas his karma yatha karma yatha shrutam he takes up the body so that is what it is so prakruti sthani sukshma rupena sthitani he says madhusudana saraswati so this chaitanya while it is assuming a body mind complex chaitanya you visualize this chaitanya at the time of assuming this body mind complex it drags it pulls all these mind this indriyas and the mind which are there in that prakruti so that is the line second line is it clear yes. so let us see the bhashyam mama eva paramatmanah amshah mama eva paramatmanah amshah bhagah avayavah bhagah avayavah ek deshah ek deshah iti anarthantaram iti anarthantaram okay mama eva mama eva who is this mama paramatma that supreme being paramatmanah amshah bhagah avayavah of course shankaracharya has given the meaning as bhagah avayava later he is going to refute it how can there be a bhaga how can there be a part in that niravayavi brahma is niravayavi niravayavam so in that niravayavam brahma how can there be parts so he is going to refute it tentatively let us read it in this way mamaiva paramatmana amsha bhagah avayavah ekadesha ekadesha means a part 
ఏకదేశ ఏ పర్టికులర్ ఏకదేశ మీన్స్ ఏకదేశ వాది ఆల్సో వైసే ఏకదేశ మీన్స్ ఏ పర్టికులర్ పార్ట్ ఇది అనర్థాంతరం అనర్థాంతరం మీన్స్ మ్యా ప్లస్ అర్థాంతరం దట్ మీన్స్ దే మీన్ ద సేమ్ దేర్ ఇస్ నో అర్థాంతరం అర్థాంతరం మీన్స్ అనదర్ మీనింగ్ అర్థ అంతరం లైక్ గ్రామాంతరం గ్రామాంతరం వెళ్ళాడు విసే గ్రామాంతరం మీన్స్ యు గాన్ టు అనదర్ విలేజ్ లోకాంతరం గాన్ టు అనదర్ లోక అర్థాంతరం మీన్స్ అనదర్ అర్థ అనర్థాంతరం మీన్స్ నా ప్లస్ అర్థాంతరం ఇట్ డస్ నాట్ గివ్ ఎనీ డిఫరెంట్ మీనింగ్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ ఆల్ దీస్ మీన్ ద సేమ్ దట్స్ ఆల్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఈజ్ ద ప్రాబ్లం సో నా అర్థాంతరం మీన్స్ దే ఆల్ మీన్ ద సేమ్ అనర్థాంతరం మీన్స్ దే ఆల్ మీన్ ద సేమ్ వాట్ అంశ భాగ అవయవ ఏకదేశ దే ఆల్ యూ కెన్ యూ కెన్ కాల్ ఇట్ ఎనీవే యూ కెన్ కాల్ ఇట్ వాట్ ఎవర్ యూ వాంట్ సో దట్ ఇస్ ద మీనింగ్ దెన్ జీవలోకే జీవానాం లోకే సంసారే జీవభూత భోక్త కర్త ఇది ప్రసిద్ధ సనాతన యూర్యక ఓకే జీవలోకే దట్ ఈస్ జీవానాం లోకే సంసారే సో ఇన్ దిస్ సంసార ఇన్ దిస్ సంసార మీన్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ హోల్ ట్రాన్స్మైగ్రేటింగ్ స్కీమ్ ఇన్ దిస్ హోల్ కాస్మిక్ ట్రాన్స్మైగ్రేటింగ్ స్కీమ్ విచ్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ జీవలోక జీవానాం లోక దిస్ ఈస్ ద లోక దిస్ ఈస్ ద ప్లేస్ ఆర్ రాదర్ దిస్ ఈస్ ది సే బుజ్యతే అనుభూయతే ఇది లోక ఇస్ ఇన్ ఇట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద ప్లేస్ వేర్ ఆల్ ది జీవాస్ ద మేనిఫెస్ట్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ ప్లేస్ వేర్ ఆల్ దిస్ జీవాస్ మేనిఫెస్ట్ అండ్ ట్రాన్స్మైగ్రేట్ జీవభూత మీన్స్ వన్ హూ హ్యాస్ బికమ్ ఎ జీవ జీవభూత మీన్స్ వన్ హూ హ్యాస్ బికమ్ ఎ జీవ వై భోక్త కర్త ఇది ప్రసిద్ధ హీ ఈస్ కాల్ హీ కాల్స్ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ ఎ కర్త దట్ మీన్స్ అండ్ ఆల్సో భోక్త దట్ మీన్స్ హీ హాస్ డెవలప్డ్ దట్ నోషన్ ఆఫ్ ఐ ఓన్లీ విత్ దట్ నోషన్ ఆఫ్ ఐ యూ బికమ్ ఎ కర్త అండ్ ఎ భోక్త ఇది ప్రసిద్ధ ఇట్ ఈస్ సో వెల్ నోన్ సనాతన అట్ ది సేమ్ టైమ్ హీ ఈస్ సనాతన హీ ఈస్ ఎవర్ లాస్టింగ్ హీ ఈస్ ఎటర్నల్ దెన్ హీ సేస్ హీ గివ్స్ ఎ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ నౌ యథా జలసూర్యక సూర్యాంశ జల నిమిత్తాపాయ సంగచ్చతిలసూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూర్యూ
Eka Eva Atma, that is what we have seen in Kathopanishad and other places, that one Atma which is reflecting in all these things like one Surya. So, that Eka Meva, Tena Eva Atmana Sangachati, Eva Meva, Eva Meva is in this manner, in the same way, Tena Eva Atmana, with the same Atma, this goes and joins. So, this is what, this is the, later days it is called Pratibimba Vada. Shankaracharya has given two examples here. Of course, I will read the next example also. Here, the, fun, the example which we now read is about a water body. So, different water bodies. And once you remove the water body, this Surya Pratibimba or the reflection of the sun is just merging with the sun itself and sun is very much there. So, that is what is the example. There is another example. Yathava Ghatā Dhyupādhi Parichinno Ghatā Dhyākāśaha अतह उपपन्न मुक्तम यद गत्वा ननिवर्तन्ते इति यथावा मीन्स आर एल्स आर एल्स घटादि उपाधि परीक्षण घटाद्याकाश सो यू हेव नौ स्पेस अर्लियर यू सा दट से प्रतिबिंब दट इज रिफ्लेक्शन नौ यू आर हेविंग ए स्पेस देन इन दिस स्पेस महा दिस महाकाश इज देर दिस महाकाश यू टेक ए घट यू टेक वन वन स्म पार्ट यू टेक ए बिगर पार्ट यू टेक सम अदर रिसेप्टकल यू विजुअल दिस रूम वी आर अवेर ऑफ दिस दिस वर्ड्स घट आकाश मठ आकाश गृह आकाश रूम आकाश एट्सेट्रा एट्सेट्रा वी नो सो दीज आर आल दिस डीलिमिटिंग फैक्टर्स परीक्षण परीक्षण मीन्स इट इज एज दो इट इज डीलिमिटिंग दट आकाश नॉट रियली डीलिमिटिंग इट इज एज दो डीलिमिटिंग दट आकाश बट वन दिस उपाधी सेव गॉन Once you break the part, there is no difference between this space and the uh, major space. Once you break some, uh, and this is the reason that part breaking, you remember, part breaking when a person dies, uh, the son or somebody carries the part, and then there are three holes put, and then the water goes away, water slowly goes away, and then ultimately the part is broken. That is, that stola sukshma karana sarira, all the three are gone, and then the part is broken, this fellow has merged with the Mahakasha, so that is the symbolism there. <laughs> so this thing is, uh, it comes in uh, somewhere in, I think in Chandogya Upanishad. I think somewhere in Chandogya Upanishad, this break, part breaking symbol comes. So like that, this Ghatakasha goes, and where does this go? This goes and merges in, uh, say that um, Mahakasha only. So then Ghatadi Upadhi Parichinnaha, that is that which is delimited by that Ghatadi Upadhi, then Ghatadi Akashaha, Akashamshaha, Akashamshaha means it is just a part of that Akasha, it is just like, not exactly part, it is like a part of that Akasha, Akashamshaha Sun, while being a part of that Akasha, then Ghatadi Nimitta Paye, once you take out that ghata, the nimitta, ghata, etc., all these causes, the cause of action is removed. Once the cause of action is over, that cause of that, uh, say, delimitation, that cause of delimitation is over, is taken away, then akasham prapya nani vartate. It merges with the akasha and then it doesn't come back, isn't it? Nani vartate ityevam, like that. So here we have got two examples. One is the example of pratibimba. One is the example of Paricheda, isn't it? So these things, of course, Shankaracharya has given some examples. Later date, different people, they developed these things into big doctrines. Pratibimba Vada, Avacheda Vada, there is what is called an Avacheda Vada, there is what is called a Pratibimba Vada. Avacheda Vada is the same as Parichinna. Avacheda, Paricheda, both are same. Avacheda, Chidu Dhatu. Avacheda is again breaking and breaking, making into parts. Parichinna is again delimiting, isn't it? So, Avacheda Vada and then Pratibimba Vada. So, later date, other later commentators, they developed these two ideas into two uh, fairly big, uh, not too big. Uh, they developed and then called them Avacheda Vada and Pratibimba Vada as two, two different doctrines, two different ways of uh, interpreting this Brahman which manifests in various beings. So, that is it. So, the Brahman manifesting in various beings is 
somehow it has to be explained. So you give two different types of examples. So this two uh, say paradigm you call it, you two different types of examples you call it. So that is it. So like with this, so that is why he says ityevam ataha upapanna muktam yadgatvan anivartante iti. So it has been rightly said. Upapannam. Upapannam means it is quite appropriate. Upapanna muktam yadgatvan anivartante. Having gone where the, there is no return. Then here of course Shankaracharya he puts the question. How can there be parts in that partless? <laughs> so, Nanu, Nanu. Niravayavasya Paramatmanaha Niravayavasya Paramatmanaha Kuto Avayava Kuto Avayavaha Ekadeshom Shahaiti Kuto Avayavaha Ekadesha Ekadeshom Shahaiti Ekadeshom Shahaiti So, Nanu, okay, there is a question. Niravayavasya Paramatmanaha Of that Paramatma, of that Supreme Being which is a Niravayavi Niravayavam Niravayavam Brahma Kutaha Avayavaha Ekadeshom Shaha Kutaha means where is it? Kutaha where? Ekadeshom Shaha Avayavaha So Ekadeshaha Amshaha Avayavaha Where is it? Where is the where is the where are those parts? Then Savayavatvecha Savayavatvecha Vinasha Prashangaha Vinasha Prasangaha Vinasha Prasangaha Avayava Vibhagat Avayava Vibhagat So any Savayavi is something which is it vyati, it 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 vinashi. Any savayavi is a vinashi. That is something which is having an avayava. These avayavas they, they are bound to go away. When it is an avayava, it itself is parichana, isn't it? Niravayavam, when does it become niravayavam? When it is infinite only, it becomes niravayavam. When it when you are infinite, there is no question of avayava. So in that infinite, the, you suppose you visualize some god who is staying somewhere in that, uh, say, Vaikuntam or Kailasam or some such heaven, some uh, uh, which religions say. So there, you are delimiting that gentleman. You are delimiting that gentleman to some particular place in heaven, uh, called heaven. He is having some small limited, uh, say, empire. It may be a large empire, but it is all the while compared to that infinitude, it is limited. And then there is another gentleman called the devil. Another gentleman who is constantly <laughs> battling with that gentleman. So, both are delimited. So, this is the problem when we say Amsha. So, Savayavatve Vinashitvam. So, when you say that he is confined to a particular place, then he is a delimited person. Vinashi. Vinashi means that which is, in principle, it is something which is a Vinashi means which is going to disappear. Vinashitvam. Vinasha Prasangaha. Avayava Vibhagat. Because of this so called division of these limbs then the exam the shankaracharya replies naisha doshaha naisha doshaha avidya krutopadhi parichinna avidya krutopadhi parichinna ekadeshomsha iva kalpitaha yataha ekadeshomsha iva ekadeshaha amsha iva kalpito yataha ekadeshaha amsha iva kalpito yataha yataha this avid this ekadeshaha Amsha Yiva Kalpitaha, this particular part or Amsha which you are referring to, Amsha Yiva, it is as though it is like that and how, why? That is because Avidya Kalpita. Avidya Kalpita, Avidya Kurta, Upadhi Parichinna. So this Upadhi, this body mind complex which is an Upadhi, it is something which is upa, which is Avidya Kalpitam. So because it is Avidya Kalpitam, so that avidya kalpitam, that is something like a water reflection in a receptacle, that is sun's reflection in a receptacle, this thing is appearing as a part, but in fact it is not a part. In fact it is not a part. Then, ekadeshaha amsha iva kalpito yataha. Then, darshitascha ayamarthaha. Darshitascha ayamarthaha. Kshetradhyaye vistarashaha. Kshetradhyaye vistarashaha. Kshetradhyaya means the 13th chapter. 13th chapter, Vistarashaha in great detail, it has been Darshitam. Darshitam means it has been demonstrated, it has been explained. Ayam Arthaha, this particular thing, this Mamai Vam Shoji Voloke, there are so there are several um, say shlokas in this 13th chapter which tell about this Kshetragnya and how this Kshetragnya is um, uh, say um, it is nothing different from that Supreme Being. So that Kshetragnya, we saw that the relationship between that Kshetragnya and that supreme being, not Kshetra. Kshetragnya and Kshetra also we saw. Kshetragnya is the same as supreme being, that also we saw. So that this whole, in great detail it has been explained there. Then Sacha Jeevaha, Sacha Jeevaha, Madam Shakatvena Kalpitaha, Madam Shakatvena Kalpitaha, Katham Samsarati Utkramati Itichet Uchyate, Katham Samsarati Utkramati Itichet Uchyate, 
उच्यते मनश्रष्टा इंद्रिया श्रोत्रादी प्रकृतिस्था स्वस्था कर्णशुल्याद प्रकृत स्थिता कर्ण 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 शुल्याद प्रकृत स्थिता कर्षति आकर्षति ओके सो कथम च सच जीव मदम चकन कल दट पर्टिकुलर जीव हू हेज बीन विजुअलाइज एज मई अंश एज मई पार्ट देन हौ इज इट दट दिस फेलो संसरति हौ इज इट दट फेलो दिस दिस बीयिंग ट्रांसमेग्रेट कथम संसरति उत्क्रामति उत्क्रामति मीन हौ दट बाडी दट सूक्ष्म शरीर गोस् फ्रम वन शरीर टू अनदर शरीर दट इज कॉल उत्क्रमण इज इंट इट उत्क्रमण मीन दट इज लिफ्ट गोइंग अप फ्रम वन बाडी टू अनदर बाडी दट इज कॉल उत्क्रमण so for a gnani there is no utkramana for a gnani this all the the prana merges in the vital air uh, vital air sorry outer air and inner air so there is no utkramana 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 so Uh, utkramana in the case of a gyani but in the case of an agyani there is what is called an utkramana that is transferring from one part from from one body to another body so this samsarati utkramati iti chet uchyate so it is being told like this how manashrashtani indriyani shrotradini so manashrashtani of course shankaracharya did not elaborate probably he thought that it is so well known um, this indriyas if you count manas also huh? time is over Oh, two minutes. Oh, we'll, we'll we'll complete this line. Yes. Manasastani indriyani, shrotradini, prakruti sthani, swasthane karma karna sheshkulyadau prakrutau sthitani. That is uh, prakruti sthani. Okay, let me explain in the next class. Prakruti sthani. I will briefly tell. Prakruti sthani means in this prakruti. I told you about this prakruti about about how uh, the time of taking birth, when uh, the, the being goes from one jarma to another jarma. which are these which are there in the sukshma rupa in the prakruti he pulls them along and then takes up another birth so swasthane varna shankar shankaracharya gives a slightly different meaning swasthane karna shashkulyadau prakrutau so this karna shashkuli karna shashkuli means the space in the inner in the inside of the ear the space you see space is responsible for here say this uh, hearing isn't it space is the uh, is responsible for the sense of hearing sense of shravana so sense of shrotram rather hmm? uh, so this this is called karna shashkuli is the, it means the space inside the ear so karna shashkuli yadu sthitani so this karna this uh, this sense organ called hearing it is located in this karna shashkuli so karna shashkuli is responsible for that sense of uh, say hearing similarly the tip of the nose is supposed to be responsible for the sense of smell the tip of the tongue is said to be responsible for the sense of taste the eye is responsible for the sense of sense of uh, seeing so like that so karna shashkuli adav adav refers to all those, all these things prakrutau sthitani karshati akarshati so karshati means it drags it pulls them along so we'll stop here ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुद्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति शाति शाति